So in this video, we're going to show how to change uh, service properties, startup type, or logon account uh, for Windows services on multiple machines. Um, so using control up, this is a really easy task. Uh, all we need to do is find the machines that we want to be affected by uh, this operation. So I'm going to search for um, a bunch of Citrix servers in my terminal services environment. Um, select those machines, right click, uh, and select manage services. So what's going to happen at this point, uh, Control Up is going to contact all those services and present, um, present us with a list of services, um, which is a combined list of all the services on all those machines uh, together uh, with um, some color codes indicating the differences between uh, the services. So it's enough that some property or the state of the service is different uh, between the machines and Control Up is going to show us this uh, in um, using it, this uh, different icon. So um, if you want to perform any type of modification on a service uh, on multiple machines, um, all we need to do is uh, select the service that we want to modify, uh, right click on the service, and then um, choose edit properties. And this is going to show us a dialog box in which we can actually select the startup type. Uh, if we want to disable the service, so all we need to do is select uh, disabled, and uh, click OK. And um, in the same window, if you want to change uh, the logon account for a service, this is also the same window to do that. So once we click OK, uh, we'll be shown a confirmation dialog box and click OK on that. And actually, in a second, we're going to get a results dialog box, which, is, uh, which actually indicates that the operation has been performed on all those machines. Um, and this only took me a couple of seconds. As, and as you can see, the service is now effectively disabled on all those machines, and the results are shown in real time. So that